Greetings, this is Gintian. I have been receiving comments on my videos indicating that the cactus farm is now against the rules. More about that later. So in this episode, I will be taking it down. Stay tuned for that and more. Greetings, this is Gintian, and I want to help you master Minecraft, so you can enjoy watching and playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is your first time on my channel, and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and click on the bell, so you know when I produce videos. Now before we get around to removing the cactus farm, I want to increase the size of the island, so let me go work on that and I'll be back for an update. So I started off by building this green area, dirt with grass. I actually picked some grass and ended up letting it spread over the whole area. and built it all the way out to the other side of buildable space. And it didn't take long before animals started spawning on the grass. Some of the animals I captured immediately. I don't know what I would do with a horse on an island that floats. Um, I also captured some sheep and some cows for later use, but that's not all that I did. My next task was to start working on underneath the water that spills down. I have noticed that if left alone, squids seem to spawn in that water. And so, I created an area using fences, signs, not fences, to hold up the water, or hold it away, and allow squids to fall through. And the hoppers are going to collect what they drop when they die, which is, of course, ink. Not sure what I'll do with it, but it should be useful somehow. By the way, this is a death chamber that I created so that I can kill myself and collect the experience points bottle. I will explain more about that another time. Next I want to show you what I did with the poppers. I covered each of them with carpet and gave them an additional purpose by collecting chickens and putting them over the crop hoppers, I can harvest the eggs as well as the squid. And it all goes to the same place. Next, I build out the island again, making it larger, filling in this area with stone, and also covering that stone with dirt. I think next I will get my son to come online to help with this process. And here we have me. I wanted to show my son, who is named Coprolite on Minecraft, where my favorite XP grinder was, and where you can kill blazes for their experience points and to build up levels which you could use for enchanting. He wanted to show me where the Minecraft world access was. Not Minecraft, but the mining world. And this is where you go to buy access to that. Then we went back to the island and we started working on well, he wanted something to work on himself, so I came out here and showed him start building right here, and you can build from there. 
he started working on a farm, Netherwart farm, that's what it is, and built it out. Um, I was helping adding some sides so you couldn't fall off the farm. This is the finished product. I have added the crop hoppers to collect the nether wart. Each crop hopper collects the crops, in this case nether wart, in its chunk and moves it to the closest chest. Underneath the chest, I have an additional crop hopper that moves it horizontally to the next chest. So this back chest sends through that crop hopper to the forward chest. Now I want to build a system so that this connects to the other chests that go into the auto cell chest. I do want to be able to turn it on and off so that all my crops don't just automatically disappear and then I don't have anything to use to replant. Previous testing taught me that a redstone block next to a crop hopper does not stop the crop hopper from taking and moving crops onward to the link chest. However, I can use a normal hopper and it can be placed under the chest and when the redstone block is next to it, it will not take items out of the chest and move it to the crop hopper. This effectively stops the system from sending items to the auto chest. Now what I want to do is contact a moderator. I believe there's one named Ben, who is currently online. Let's go ahead and send him a note. I message him, can you help me with something? He replies, what's up? I was told by a moderator on the forums that I need to remove my cactus farm, that they are not allowed. Is this true? Can you come by my island and remove it? Or do I need to do it manually? He replied, if it's too big to remove by hand, then I can ask an admin to remove it with World Edit. They became illegal a few weeks after the season started. By they, he means the cactus farm. That actually agrees with what I learned by reading the forum or the comments in the forum. And he wants to teleport to my island. So now I type TP accept and hit enter. I think he will show up any second now. There he is. And he sends the message to me saying, I can remove this with a trench pick if you'd like. Now trench pick is a special kind of pick that you can get on this server and it mines more than just one block, it mines a whole section of blocks at one time. So that will make it a lot easier for him to remove what I've built. I'm going to let him know that I would like that. I message him, yes, please do. And he replies, alrighty, I will go clear my inventory, do the command forward slash is co-op i car ben so that i can break blocks that'll give him the permission he needs to break blocks on my island i type the command and there you see the permissions i message him done and thank you he replies no problem this is the big farm that I am removing. And even though I'm not aware of it immediately, it doesn't take him long before he comes back and starts removing the farm. I'm showing it to you as a sped up time lapse. I ask, were you going to be able to remove the farm soon? 
I was hoping to watch you do it. I, of course, misspelled were, put an H in it. He replied, I'm slowly removing it at the moment. Uh, at this point, I decided to go looking and discovered he had started on the back where I wasn't watching. He pointed out, the items are in these two shulkers. By that, he meant the items he was collecting while dismantling the farm. I went and found him and said, Sorry, didn't see you, lol. You started at the back and I didn't see you working. He replied, lol, no worries. I'll be removing all the sand after the cactus and stone slabs. I decided not to wait and started helping by removing the sand and the glass that I could reach. That pink dot is not me, that's a pig. That is me removing the sand. He's actually doing it a lot faster than I could. In addition to that, he has the ability to fly, which I do not. And that makes the task a whole lot easier as well. At this point, I think you get the idea of what's going on. I'm going to speed this up even further. Here we go. He sent me a message. Well, that should be everything. I replied, thank you very much. He replied, no problem. I replied, I appreciate it. He said to me, you can do forward slash is uncoop to remove my permissions. Okay, thank you very much for your help. There you see his permissions going away. And his final reply to me is, no problem. And that brings us to what I think is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.